This winter, for one week, it's the world's best bowlers who claim the spotlight as Le Mans staged the 28th AMF Bowling World Cup. Hello and welcome. A sellout 2,000 crowd here in the forum, fully justifying the organizers' faith in bringing the final day of competition from the local bowling center down onto the exhibition arena. Alongside me in the commentary position, George Patel, one of this country's top bowlers, and we're looking forward to what should be a classic men's final. George, they've said this is perhaps one of the finest World Cups ever staged. It is. We have a great field here. We have a uh, quality field here in first place. Pang Nepomuceno from the Philippines bidding for his third title. Per Svensson from Sweden in second position. And uh, we know that uh, with this sort of field, anything could happen. Grabowski, Achim Grabowski from Germany made it into third spot. And he's looking for a unique German double. Michael Muir, the Australian champion in fourth position. And in fifth spot, making it through the position round onto the telecast stage, is Cheng Mai Yang from Taiwan. Thought he was on for it a year ago. His form was good. Now, can he redress the balance in Le Mans, France? At last, he finds a strike. And it comes in frame nine. That's his first since the fifth. Now, Nepomuceno has the advantage to finish. He'll know what he has to do. Lucy Piang again getting the ball way outside. Good shot. Although Piang carries the ball a lot, it doesn't let it swing free. Um, he's able to place it in the right place. Good shot. Ball finishes over the eight pin, and that really was an all or nothing shot. Pang at last trusting it from way out wide on the left. He brings it back into the pocket. Flush ten, and he needed it too. Now in the tenth frame, down by nine to finish. He'll know what is necessary. Grabowski with 9 and 10 to wrap up his game. Leads by 9, but the pressure comes back on him because he hasn't struck since frame 4. And if he fails to strike here, Nepomuchino will steal the lead away from him. The biggest shot of his life in frame 9 for the German. It's a little high. Oh, it's a terrible bad break. A really dull hit. And he leaves the 4-7 and the 6. It's that 6, George, that's going to be the problem. It certainly is. Bad break, uh, bad, bad shot at the wrong time. You know, the, he, this is the first time that he's been tested. Earlier against Yang, he had that 2-57-6 uh, uh, game. Real easy when you're striking them all together. Against Swenson, he struggled a little bit. Here, Piang tests him out, and he doesn't quite trust it, and uh, gets penalized for the split. Bad timing for the split. Peng put him under pressure, as you say, didn't trust the shot. Just got nervous at the wrong time. Nepomuchino now sees daylight, and he opens up at the worst possible moment in frame nine. He's got to put that behind him quickly, because this is the tenth and final frame. He's on 167. Every pin will count. Three strikes and a 197 final score. It may not be enough but has to get back with a good shot here. And once again, he's high. Kowalski tried everything to get that ball out. Good speed, I just didn't get the ball out far enough. Got low and just fired it. Ball hooked up and hit, went straight through the heart again. And that score is coming down all the time. The best now with a spare and 10 will be 187. Held the lead from frame one right the way through to the 10th. And now it will all be down to the Manila man with the big shot in the tenth to steal the title away. Grabowski's got to get this, surely. He has. He gets himself the bonus ball. Really was vital that he got that. Good break for Grabowski again. He could have chopped the two out of the four there. Six pin just nudges the ten pin out of the way. You can see on his face, George, he's reliving that ninth frame. Crucial time, he led the match all the way up to the eighth. Just softened up a little bit, hit the nose and paid the penalty. All shook up, Akim Grabowski was rocking and rolling his way to victory here to make it a German 1-2. And Nepo Machino buries his head in the towel and can't look. Last shot of the championship for Akim Grabowski. Finishes with an eight count, added up 185. 
And now Nepomuceno steps into the spotlight for the 10th and final frame. And he needs a mark and four pins to win. And poor Akim Grabowski, his head's gone down. The crowd is stunned. The German contingent falls silent. And Grabowski must know that with that loose shot in the ninth, he threw the title away. A mark and just four pins for Nepomuceno. But a bad shot here if he opens up with a big split. Who knows? Title winning shot coming up right now. It's on its way and there it is, all ten. The strike that he was looking for and the sign of a man who says, I'm number one. That was a great shot from Piang there, trusting the ball again. He's out of the two, he's trusted most of his shots. You know, this earlier in the match, he slowed, he slowed down a little bit and he jumped. Apart from that, he's trusted all of them. Great shot, courageous shot. Marvellous, sportsmanlike response from the Germans. Grabowski and Martina leading the applause. And that settles it, the final nail in the coffin for Akin Grabowski. And those fans who've made it all the way here from the Philippines know that they are looking at the world champion for the third time in his career. Pang Nepomuceno comes through on the wire and steals it in the tent as Grabowski threw the title away. Final shot of the tournament comes up. It doesn't matter because it's academic. It was all over once the man from Manila threw that big strike in the tenth. And the crowd go wild from the Philippines. Pang Nepomuceno takes gold at the 28th AMF World Cup. The third time in a career that goes back over 20 years. His third gold medal. It's achieved 76, 80 and 92. What a remarkable performance. The man who led the field here all week. And for poor Akin Grabowski, a silver medal, but no disgrace as the final scores come up on the screen. 210-185, and look at it there, Grabowski leading all the way into that fatal ninth frame. George, I think we can relive that once again, a frame that Grabowski will have to live with for the rest of his life. Your heart has to go out for the guy. Yeah. He did everything but win. Yeah, as you see the disappointment there. You know, that just hurts when you get so close. And uh, there you see it again comes up I think he just softened up a little bit with speed and he jumped on the nose and uh, what a time to get get penalized for it a four six seven no way back for Grabowski puts his head in his hands and the German dream of a one two gold for both men's and ladies here is destroyed at the death as we bring you then the final winners rostrum here at the Le, For the Le Mans Forum and the presentation of the medals to Per Svensson from Gothenburg, Sweden. It's bronze. Still smiling to the end. A big favourite with the crowd here. And he can be proud of his achievements at this year's event. Akin Grabowski, who thrilled the crowd all the way. It's been a most magnificent championship. And I'm sure everybody who was here will never forget it. Akin Grabowski, perhaps for the wrong reasons, but consoles himself with silver. And the trophy there as the Germans take the latest title, but settle for runners-up in the men's division. But what can you say, George, about this man from the Philippines, champion of the world for the third time in his career, Pang Nepomuceno, a worthy winner, we have to say. That remarkable average all week, and coming through in the final when it mattered. And our congratulations to AMF for organizing such a superb tournament. Hope you've enjoyed it. From me and George for now, bye-bye.